Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. I hope you folks had a great holiday weekend. Mine was pretty good. Uh, it did start off a little rough, but just about a week before Christmas, I ended up getting the flu. Uh, if you guys had the flu, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It sucked for about uh, three, about three days it was. I was completely dead to the world. I could not do anything. I didn't have the strength, ability, the energy to do anything. I couldn't even work on my new tank. I actually had to call out from work, which uh, takes a lot for me to call out of work because uh, I do need to work and I need money. But uh, my health is kind of more important than my job. And uh, so, yeah. But, um, but I got better just, uh, just a few days before Christmas. I ended up feeling better. I actually, I got sick on Monday and uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then Thursday, I was like, I think I feel pretty all right. I, I'll go back to work. It's only half a day, and then we're out for Christmas break. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, But I, I started feeling better Thursday, so it was really nice. I'm still trying to get the swing of getting back into, you know, getting back into the swing of everything, uh, trying to feel like my normal self. My appetite has not really been there. I don't know what that's going, what what's going on with that. I usually eat, you know, a lot, but uh, I just really couldn't eat that much. And especially, you know, Christmas dinner. It's like I only have one plate. Usually I have at least two and a half plates and stuff, but I only had like one plate and that's it. Um... Yeah, and I love my mom's home cooking. You know, I love that. But uh, let me give you guys an update here on the tank because I did end up uh, working on the tank uh, after I felt better. But, uh, so what I've done is I got the new battery. Like I said, uh, the guy uh, who I did the trade with said it needed a new battery. So we went and got a new battery for it. Uh, plugged it up. Turned it on. The sound... Uh, effects came on the engine sound just like uh, my hen long tank somewhere around <laughs> over there they are um, have the sound effects and all that where it fired and you know, all that good stuff right well this the uh, engine sound came on and it says as, as I as soon as I started playing with the remote I didn't have any type of movement uh, the, the light would flash saying that the uh, controllers on but nothing would work and I was like, well, what's going on with this thing? Why is it not moving? Uh, so I ended up popping the top off, looking at the electronics, see if there's anything like uh, a loose connection or burned out on the board or whatnot. And uh, as I expected it, everything looked to be good. There's no loose connections, no burnout marks or anything like that. It all looked good. And so uh, I started playing around with it. And then as soon as I grabbed the antenna wire on the receiver, the tank started working. Uh, I can move it left and right, forward, reversed, uh, the turret, the guns, the machine sound, everything was working. And as soon as I let go of it, it would just go back to the engine sound and would not run whatsoever. And I was like, well, this is weird. What's going on with this thing? So I tried to do some research on it and see, you know, what was the cause of this. I really didn't find any any good information about it um, so I was trying to figure out why is this happening because every time like I said I feel like if I touch it or if I touch the antenna tip with the antenna wire it would work so I was like okay all right something's got to be a loose connection somewhere or a ground issue looking at everything it looked to be fine I don't know but uh, I ended up fixing it somehow or another well not really fixing it I actually took the battery and laid the antenna oh I laid the battery on top of the antenna after I did that it started working with no problems whatsoever and I was like well, what is what's going on is this like a ground issue does it need like uh, <laughs> it need more strength or something I don't know exactly if you guys know exactly what causes that to happen to uh, our Narcy, let me know, guys. I really would appreciate it if you guys let me know. So, uh, so I got the battery in, tested it out, run it around this weekend. Um, did great. A um, little bit difficult to drive at first when I started doing it, but I then I, you know, kind of actually learned the controls. Uh, I started working on the uh, turret part right here because the gun was actually missing and broken off somewhere. A uh, guy did not know, so I ended up fixing up a nice little uh, turret or uh, uh, cannon part, and I'll show you guys here in a minute. 
Uh, but I ended up using this, this uh, metal rod here. Uh, it's not the true scale size for this tank, uh, but it is the closest thing I had to uh, putting on here on the tank. And I just have to now cover up uh, this part right here where you see the inside of the turn part. I gotta cover that up. Um, that's the only thing it needs to be done on that. Uh, other than that, uh, just a few things needs to be glued down and stuff like that. Um, I thought about painting this a traditional army color. Uh, I don't know exactly yet if I'm going to do it. Um, I'm not really too big of a fan of this tan kind of color, but I might actually lead it or I might paint it. I mean, what do you guys think? Should I paint it? Should I leave it? I'll let you guys decide on that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing, turn it on for you guys and uh, let you hear it and uh, try to try to somewhat control it. I might have to take it off the uh, off my workstation here and put it on the floor and actually you know, show you guys it running. But uh, this thing is extremely loud for the speaker on it. Uh, the volume knob is right up here on top of it, kind of like camouflaged. But um, it is super loud, and I'll let you guys hear it. So let me go ahead and flip on the switch here. So extremely loud guys, I mean this thing is extremely loud, but as you see, it moves, it runs, uh, it's a little difficult to control sometimes because uh, it's not uh, it's not like my hand long tank where it has the digital portion on it where you can adjust the speed, it's like basically you got go, stop, reverse, so you got go, back, So yeah, so once you learn to control, it's pretty all right. Uh, I wish I did have the digital portion on it where I can actually adjust the speed of it, but you know, well, maybe in a, maybe a future upgrade for it. <laughs> but um, yeah, you see it runs, and a uh, few things I got to do, like back here on the uh, the door, was just, let me grab the camera and I'll... all right. Alright guys, sorry about that. My camera, on my battery, I have a uh, external battery. Uh, well, it's an aftermarket battery and the wire that plugs into the camera to power it up, it has a like a loose connection. And, and I've been fighting with this thing for a few months now and uh, I need to get me another one. So uh, when I hit this, uh, the wire, it actually shut me off. And uh, But it, I don't have to record over. Uh, so let me get back to... Uh, what I was talking with the tank is that uh, the door here, which has the uh, 12 volt battery, I have to figure a way of actually getting that thing to you know mount flush down because I can't turn the turret all the way around like it's supposed to or can go uh, without the uh, the door being in the way. So I have to kind of figure a way of actually doing something with that. Um, maybe mount it in a different location or maybe uh, just do something uh, to get that door to go down flush with. Uh, also at top, I gotta put the doors up there. Uh, there actually another door that goes right here I gotta put. Uh, let me show you the torrent gun. As you see, it's just a metal rod here and uh, I kinda just wedged it in between uh, where the the actual gun is now this did have a uh, actual cannon on it where it actually fired like these little plastic uh, 
or rubber darts and actually, actually not BBs or anything, but um, but it looks not bad, right? I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, there we go. So just a little metal rod that I used on that, and uh, yeah. But um, other than that, that's all I have to really do to the tank here to uh, you know get it fully operational. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, I took up enough of your time, I'm going to get off of here and uh, work on this tank some more. Let me know guys, comment down below, should I paint the tank a more traditional army color like the Henlong tanks up here I have, my Sherman tank and the Walker Bulldog tank. Should I paint it that color or should I leave it that color right there? Let me know what you guys think on that, comment down below, alright? Uh, so with that being said, that's all I have to say on the tank. I'll give you guys another update uh, with it. If I do paint it, you guys will see it. If I don't paint it, well, you'll see another video of this thing out running. I had not took it outside yet. That's, uh, that's the only thing. I'd like to take it outside and see what this thing is going to do. I think it is going to be an awesome uh outside and especially massive big I really tear down some trees and stuff well not like tree trees but you know guys so with that being said guys thanks for watching and I will see y'all later <laughs>